A tearful mother's visible pain captured members of Congress. It's like they tore out a piece of my heart, like they tore out my soul. Yasmin Juarez says her 19-month-old daughter caught a viral lung infection at a U.S. immigration detention site after neglect and mistreatment during their 20-day maximum stay at the holding center, she says, she and little Marie were released. Days later, Marie died. I wanted to have a better life for her and a better future and work hard so that she could keep growing the way that she was. Juarez has filed a wrongful death suit against the U.S. government. I'm so very sorry that we have failed you. Her case is not unique. Several immigrant children have died in U.S. custody. This two-year-old, 105 fever, listless, like a rag doll. I looked at her and immediately called uh, our ambulance from our children's hospital to pick her up. She ended up having bilateral pneumonia. The Democrats who run the House Oversight Panel titled the hearing Kids in Cages, Inhumane Treatment at the Border. That's an indictment of the Trump administration's family separation policy. Everyone seems to agree there's a crisis at the border, with Republicans saying it's the crush of immigrants coming to the U.S., and Democrats saying it's the detention policy itself. The name also expresses the outrage over what Democrats describe as jails for children. We are creating a generation of children that will never forget what we did to them. This type of trauma can't go away. Some Republicans pushed uh, back. I am frustrated, though, with the title of the hearing. It is a hearing entitled Kids in Cages. What we say and the hyperbole we use matters. I've been to the border many times, and to this day, I have never seen a kid in a cage. A former Immigration and Customs Enforcement chief says it is unfair to blame immigration agencies coping with a surge of Central American immigrants fleeing violence and poverty. If you don't reduce the flow, you're going to continue to get the same thing that we've seen for the last seven, eight months. Uh, it's, it's bad and it's getting worse. Arrests at the border fell 28 percent in June. But with the Trump administration saying it plans raids on undocumented families living in the U.S. fairly soon, the crisis at the border and in detention centers continues. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Washington.